Hello, good morning. This is your daily outlook for Wednesday, the 18th of April. The euro edged higher yesterday while world equities turned positive and risk appetite dominated the markets. A higher than expected demand for Spain's government bonds pushed Spanish yields lower, a positive sign for a country whose borrowing costs almost doubled one month ago. Risk sentiment was also boosted after a big US company posted quarterly profits and after German zoo economic sentiment showed a higher than expected figure. Against the dollar, the euro rose rose to 131.72 from 130.90. The US dollar weakened, weighed by improved economic data, which raised investors' demand for high yielding currencies. Against the Japanese yen, the greenback rose as high as 81.42 from 80.36 following industrial production in Japan, which dropped in February. The yen was also weighed by a report which showed that the Bank of Japan may raise its inflation forecast, raising speculation for additional monetary stimulus to achieve its price target. Against the Canadian dollar, the dollar plummeted after the Bank of Canada said that the e economy is improving, signalling that interest rates may be raised soon. The hawkish statement sent the pair as low as 0.9864 from 1.0011. The British pound jumped versus the US dollar to 159.70 from 158.62 after data showed inflation jumped as expected in March, reinforcing expectations that the Bank of England will not add more stimulus into the economy. Eyes now turn to the Bank of England policy meeting minutes and what would be interesting is whether to see the Bank of England will soften its dovish tone for monetary policy. Investors are also expecting the UK job figures to be released later today. Looking at commodities, we saw oil prices rise to $105.04 a barrel for $102.64. Gold dropped to $1,634.59 an ounce before rebounding to $1,657.30. Against the euro, a gold edged lower to €1,256.69 an ounce from €1,257.05. Silver jumped to $31.89 an ounce from $31.32. Let's take a look at what the currencies are doing this morning. The euro dollar pivot points at 130.90 with a preference to enter into long positions at 130.95. The dollar yen pivot points at 81.05 with a preference to enter into long positions at 81.10. The Aussie dollar pivot points at 103.45 with a preference to enter into long positions at 103.45. The sterling dollar pivot points at 159 with a preference to enter into long positions at 159.05. And the dollar cab pivot point is at 0.9935 with a preference to enter into short positions at 0.9935. Looking at commodities, we saw oil prices at 103.90 with a preference to enter into long positions at 103.90. The gold pivot point was at 1634 with a preference to enter into long positions at 1634. And the silver pivot point was at 3110 with a preference to enter into long positions at 3110. And of course, for more up-to-date information, please visit us at easy-forex.com. On the calendar, the market movers are the UK unemployment rate forecast to stay unchanged at 8.4% and the UK unemployment change forecast at 7,000. Now onto equities. In Europe, the FTSE was up 1.78%, the DAC was up 2.65% and the CAC was up 2.72%. In the US, the SP500 was up 1.55% and the Dow was up 1.50%. In Asia at the time of writing, the Nikkei was up 2.14% and the Hang Seng was up 1.9%. This has been your daily outlook. I'm Emma and Joe from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a great day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.